it again. Ah, I got it. These chemicals are just what I need for my show, Papa Smurf. <laughs> Hi, Clumsy. Oh, <laughs> hello, Pee Wee. Are you sure you know what you're smurfing, Pee Wee? Don't worry, Papa Smurf. I've become an expert on alchemy. Allow me to demonstrate. <laughs> <laughs> Just take the herbs and go. So long. Thanks for everything. Goodbye. A pinch of sulfur, a dram of antimony. Uh, make that a dram of sulfur and a pinch of antimony. How am I supposed to eat with all this racket? Johan! I'm sorry, sire, but Pee-wee's still locked up in the tower and refuses to come out. Ever since he found that old alchemy book, he thinks of just one thing. Alchemy. And I think of just one thing. Starving! Hmm. That gives me an idea. If Pee-wee stops to eat, maybe the king can too. I need a hot fire for the fermentation, transmutation... Pee-wee, dinner! Hmm. Here, Pee-wee. I thought you might like to stop for a bite to... Thanks, Johan. Oh, that should keep him busy for a while. Johan! I'm done. Gotta get back to my experiments. Finally, the salt, sulfur, and mercury poured into the athanor. Ah! Oh! It's solidifying! Let's hope that... I've done it! I've succeeded! Yippee! I've done it! Hooray! It's fantastic! Johan! That's Pee-wee. He's never up at this hour. Where are you? Oh, there you are. Johan, my experiment. I've succeeded. What experiment? Come on, I'll tell you and the king all about it. Sire, sire, awaken! Uh, uh, what? What? Why? Uh, what's wrong? Are we being attacked? Is there a fire? No, I found it, sire. It's never been done before. Give me your crown. My crown? But I... Come now, don't argue. You're gonna see something fantastic. You won't believe your eyes. There, look. But, but my crown. You've turned it into lead. Yes, sire. I found what every alchemist has failed to find. The stone that turns gold into lead. Oh, it's supposed to be lead into gold, Pee-wee. Well... Well, why didn't someone tell me? And working at two gold coins a day, in 783 days, you would have reimbursed me for my crown. Anyone can make a mistake. 782 more days of this? Please, sir, have mercy. Don't hurt me. Oh, well, I... Huh? <laughs> Yay! You wouldn't really make Pee-wee work two years, sire. Of course not. I just want a peaceful meal. Ah, at last. Johan! Johan! I'm telling you, it's intentional! Calm yourself, sire. I'll get to the bottom of this. Pee-wee! Johan, come quickly! I saw a dog, and he spoke to me. This is another of your silly practical jokes. It happened right here. Well, I don't see any. There he is! Come back here! Heel! Sit! Lie down! What's going on around you? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Poor Pee-wee, his armor's rusted. You may well be right, sire. I'm glad you're all here to see this. Now, listen carefully. <clears throat> okay, dog. Talk. Don't be afraid. Now, speak. Arf, 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 arf. Come on, you, you talked earlier. Say something. Answer me. What a farce! And my lunch is ruined. I didn't dream it. Enough is enough, Pee-wee. You're not funny. This dog seems lost. Maybe he's hungry. Arf, arf. A well-behaved dog does not say, arf, arf. He says, yes, I'm hungry. And a well-behaved princess doesn't pet stray animals. Come, Sabina. Yes, Dame Barbara. We'll get him something to eat from the kitchen. I agree on one condition. First, he must speak. So there. Don't be silly, Pee-wee. We're going to get you some food. Are you happy? Come on, answer in English. Well, did the dog like his yum-yum? Now, what do you say? You say, thank you. Come on. Leave that poor animal alone, Pee-wee. Let's finish our chess game. 
Why won't the dog speak to me? Now, don't start that boring story all over again. All right, fine. I won't say another word. And yet I heard him speak, I know it. Now he won't say a word. Oh, my sweet one. Oh, my beloved. Will I ever see your smiling face again? Good grief! He really does speak. What did I tell you? You never want to believe me. Hey, wake up! Arf, arf. Sorry, but that won't work anymore. You talked in your sleep. We heard you. How is it that you, a dog, knows how to speak? It's because I'm not a dog. I am a handsome knight. <laughs> what? <laughs> My name is Sir Terry. I was in love with the beautiful daughter of Lord Boisjoli. <laughs> and he warned you to keep your paws off her. <laughs> I should tell the king that. Pee-wee, control yourself. Alas, my rival Baron Maltrichu also wanted to marry the princess. To get me out of the way, he used a magic potion to turn me into a dog. When the evil Baron saw I could still talk, he tried to imprison me, but I escaped. Excuse me, I do believe I have a flea. Why did you refuse to speak when Pee-wee asked you to? Yeah, why? You startled me in the stable. Then when I saw all the others, I didn't know if you were friend or foe. I was afraid to speak. Well, we are friends, and we'll find a way to return you to normal. That's true. There's an antidote to every spell. Come to my laboratory. Magic holds no secrets from me. Now, what's in the potion that turned you into a dog? I haven't the slightest idea. Mm, too bad. Well, I can try a potion using some toad venom, mugwort. Stop! Pee-wee, this is no time for experimenting. Then nothing can be done. Knight, you will have a dog's life. Not if we go to Baron Maltrichu's and get the formula. Go, go to, to Baron, Baron Maltrichu's? It isn't far now. I hope not. I'm starving. There's the castle of the evil Baron Maltrichu. Sure is spooky looking. Sir Terry, you cannot enter the castle with us, so we'll have to leave you at the inn. Maybe I should stay with him too. Don't worry, sires. I will take good care of your dog. See that you do, and another gold piece is yours upon our return. Done! Now, what would you like to eat? Um, first some sausage, ham, cheese. Pee-wee, we don't have time. Rush, rush, rush! How do you intend to get the formula from Baron Maltrichu? I have a plan. Good luck, my friends. Attack! Attack! Come on! Come ahead! Pretend I'm the enemy! Oh! <laughs> and you call yourselves knights! Bah! <laughs> Baron Maltrichu, excuse me, but two travelers seek shelter for the night. Tell them to go away! My castle is not an inn. They say they are under orders from the king. Oh, oh the king? Huh? Oh, very well. Let them in. Now, don't forget your part, baby. All right, all right. My master, Baron Maltrichu, will see you now. Who are you two? I am Johan, the king's squire, and this is Prince Peewee, the king's nephew. My uncle, the king, sends you his regards. So, he sent you all this way to tell me that? Oh, no, sir. We're on our way to Lord Boisjoli's castle. Why are you going there? I intend to marry Genevieve, Lord Boisjoli's daughter. Not if I can help it. Oh, I see. Well, wait right here. It's working. It's working. No one is going to marry Genevieve and all her gold but me. These two must be stopped. I still have some of the sorcerer's dog potion. Excellent. We'll wait until they're asleep. <laughs> and I'll charge extra for feeding them. <laughs> the poor little dog may get hungry in the night. <laughs> My, 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 my beautiful Genevieve. When will I hold you in my arms? Uh, uh, a talking dog. This dog should be worth a great deal of money to someone. Maybe Baron Martoshu. Are you sure they'll fall for this? Shh. Villain, get the potion, Pee-wee. Come on, yeah. Oops. Help, help. Pee-wee. Are you all right? I spilled a little, but I think we got what we came for. Then let's go. There they are. Get them. Destroy them. It'll take them a while to get through this door. Johan! Johan! Pee-wee? Pee-wee! What am I going to do? 
break it in! Johan, I don't want to be a dog! First things first, we must escape, and the only way out is the window. Oh, no! I may be a dog, but I'm not a fool! It's either this or Maltrachou's kennels. Ouch! Remind me to have your nails clipped. Very funny! There they are! Uh-oh. Yo! Mama! Whoa, that was close. Yeah. Well, I'm still a dog. Stop staring, the cat. They can't escape. There's only one way out. And this is it. Yeah! Come on, the cat. I mean, yeah! I'll go in and get Sir Terry. You stay here. Sure. You don't think I'm going anywhere looking like this. Uh, uh, sire, it's you. Why are you trembling? Has something happened to my dog? Rest assured, your dog is fine. Maltrachou! If anything has happened to that dog... He's too valuable. When Genevieve of Boisgely learns her true love is a dog, she'll have to marry me, or he'll remain a dog forever. <laughs> As for you, the dungeon! <laughs> Being a dog does have its advantages. Get them! Get them! Table for two, coming right up! Tools? I'll get him myself! Let go! Let go, stupid dog! You heard him, Pee-wee. Let go! We better get out of here. Blast! They're getting away! No matter. Let them go. I have the dog. That's all that counts. <laughs> I'm telling you, Johan, I'm sure I can find the antidote. I'm a master of alchemy. Sorry, Huey, but I'd rather trust Papa Smurf if we can find him. Oh, Johan, what a pleasant surprise. This is most fortunate, Papa Smurf. And where's Pee-wee? Right here. <laughs> no. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Huh? Oh, yeah? It's so funny. It wasn't Pee-wee's doing. The evil Baron Maltrachou is responsible. And we need you, Papa Smurf, to find an antidote. I'll smurf what I can. Now tell me the whole story. First, I will analyze the potion. Using ferrite as a reagent, I will... Oh, no, Papa Smurf, not ferrite. Quicksilver gives much better results. Further, I believe... I don't want to give you any advice, but if I were in your place, first I'd boil flare mouse milk, mandrake roots, and after that, then I'd wait it. So don't take our advice. Arf! I mean, yeah. Where are you taking me, Maltrachou? Who we'll visit Genevieve of Boisgely. I'm curious to know if she still wants to marry you, now that you're a dog. <laughs> Uh, if I ever become human again, you'll pay for this. Here, Pee-wee, I brought you something to eat. Great! Maybe he wants to play. Arf! Arf! Good doggy! Eureka! I think I've smurfed the antidote. Arf! Arf! It's about time. I was starting to feel like a dog. Here goes. Well, when does it start working? Uh, well, actually, you should have already smurfed back to normal. At least, I think so. Think so? Think so? If you don't find the antidote, I'm gonna... Easy, Pee-wee. Papa Smurf's doing the best he can. Arr! One ounce of tallow dissolved into ten smurfs of pine wood, a clove of garlic, and a drop of lizard spit. There! I smurf, this will do the job. It had better, for your sake. Oh, no! Ah! Uh, be easy now! Uh, don't get excited! I will go smurf up another solution immediately! Oh. Uh, Baron Maltrachil, I hope you haven't come to ask for my daughter's hand again. She still loves the Terry, in spite of this strange absence. Three weeks now. Oh, my, how sad! My dear Lord Boisgely, let me propose to your beautiful daughter just one more time. If she refuses, I'll never bother you again. So be it. Thank you, my lord. Oh, my dear brave Sir Terry, what's become of you? You've left me here all alone. 
Ah, beautiful Genevieve. Back again, Baron. I've already given you my answer. No. But I have news of your love, Sir Terry. Truly? Oh, where is he? Tell me quickly. He's right here. Baron, this practical joke is in very bad taste. Wait, I'll prove it to you. All right, knight, speak. Ow, ow. Speak, or I'll... Ow, ow. So, you don't scare easily. Baron, I must insist you leave it. Don't touch her, you knave. That voice, it is him. So, gallantry has loosened your tongue. <laughs> Who has done this to you? This evil rascal. But Johan and Peewee will help. I'm afraid only I can return your knight to normal. But there is one condition. I would do anything to help Sir Terry. Then you must marry me. <laughs> At last, I finally smurfed my error. I forgot to add the sugar nettle. Yeah. Arr! Easy, Peewee. Third time's the charm. Hooray! I'm not a dog anymore! <sighs> Thanks, Smurfness. We must rescue Sir Terry from Maltrushu's castle and restore him to normal before the Baron convinces Genevieve to marry him. Oh, true love has to win. We'll help, won't we, Baba Smurf? Yes, Smurfette. I just hope we're not too late. I'm getting hungry. Oh, shut up. Goodbye. Goodbye, my sweet Genevieve. Two days, all of this will be mine. <laughs> You're really going to marry that Baron Malfrashu? Yes, Father. And what about Sir Terry? Only yesterday you were saying... I don't want to talk about it! <laughs> I'll never understand women. I'm gonna starve before we can rescue Sir Terry. Someone's coming. Hide, Smurfs! How much are your cakes? They are not for sale. Says who? They are for the wedding at the Boisjoli Castle tomorrow. Wedding? Good grief! The beautiful Genevieve? And Baron Maltrachu. If you please, I must not linger. He could have at least let me taste one. We must double our pace, Peewee. Sir Terry is running out of time. We'll get a head start to Maltrachu's castle. With Feather's help, we'll be able to smurf what's happening. Good idea. We'll catch up as soon as we can. Shall I run your bath, Baron? A bath? A bath? <laughs> because I'm getting married tomorrow, I already took a bath three years ago. Now give me my coat. <laughs> One last stop before my departure. Perhaps it's Johan and Peewee come to rescue me. Uh, well, my flea-bitten knight, I'm off to marry Genevieve. No, she'll never. It can't be true. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> All you get is a mangy bone. <laughs> oh, oh, it's just too horrible. My poor Genevieve. The Baron is sleeping, and Johan and Pee-wee have still not arrived. That's because the distance we've smurfed by air is longer than they've smurfed on land. Because the speed of feathers is equal... Anyway, they're late. It is getting very late. Where are Johan and Pee-wee? Oh, here they come! We rode as fast as we could. What news, Papa Smurf? Ultras you left this afternoon with a dozen men. But he didn't smurf the dog with him. We must get into the castle. But without ladders, I don't see how. I have an idea. We'll use feathers to get us into the castle. Then we'll smurf a way to get you inside. It's too dangerous, Papa Smurf. We'll be all right, but you try to get as close to the castle walls as you can. Good luck, Papa Smurf. A crane. Those rotten bees stop up the chimneys with their nests. Shoo, shoo, be off. Whoa! Oh, it's not nice to throw things. Yay, a talking crane. Well done, Feathers. This is perfect. Follow me, my little Smurfs. Where are we, Papa Smurf? I Smurf, it's a storeroom. Aha, here's what we need. Help me Smurf this rope up to the roof. Talking cranes? Wasn't a talking dog enough? <laughs> now get back to your post. But I heard it speak. I know I did. Let's Smurf before he wakes up. Now, Smurf.
smurf the rope between the battlements. Give the signal, Harmony. Faster, Pee-wee. Faster? Always faster. Strange things are going on around here. Bravo, Papa Smurf. Guards, we're under attack. We're being invaded. Yow! Good work, Johan. It's those two. They've returned. Get them, men. I let go. Anything you say. Oh, that's smurfing him, Johan. Now this is what I call an adventure. Here, I'm ready for you. Who are you, little? <laughs> Pee Wee, look out. Mama! Johan, the guards have us outnumbered. I just hope there's enough. Oh, no! We've turned into dogs. When is a dog not a dog? <laughs> when it's a guard dog, you get it? <laughs> Come on, Pee-wee. We must get to the dungeon and free Sir Terry. Let's go, Smurfs. The coast is clear. Well, almost. No one frees my prisoners. Yay, rats! Blue rats! We're not rats. We're Smurfs. Johan, Pee-wee, I can't believe it's you. We have the antidote. Let's get Sir Terry back to normal. I'm finally myself again. My friends, I don't know what to say. There's no time for thanks, Sir Terry. We must get to Boisjoli Castle before the wedding. I just hope we're in time. Genevieve of Boisjoli, do you of your own free will enter into marriage with Gontran, Baron of Moltrachou? No, stop! Oh, Terry! Genevieve! Last. He may get the girl, but I'll get the gold. Not so fast, Baron. Leave him to me, Johan. Ha! That's a joke. Hey, no harm. Let's smurf him ahead. Surrender, Baron. Never. <laughs> I've got the gold. <laughs> Not for long. My stone will stop him. My gold! It's turned lead! <laughs> You're all through, Baron. <laughs> Would you begin the ceremony once more, Father? The wedding goes on, even though the groom has changed. Well, sire, I saved your gold. But, but, it's all lead. Worthless. Well, look at it this way. You lost a fortune and gained a son.